What's up? This is Squire2440 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be upgrading and organizing the lawn care shop. So let's hop in the GMC Duramax and make our way over to the shop. And today we'll be trading in a few mowers. We'll be getting an older Craftsman mower and we will be uh, trying to fit all of our pickup trucks inside of the shop and even leave a few of the mowers inside of the enclosed trailer which you guys have all requested me to do so we'll make our way over there and today is a very busy day because we need to get the shop ready for the upcoming uh, week and everything like that and I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content a lot of you guys really did enjoy the roadside mowing in the street sweeping live stream on Friday night which was pretty cool so we are just around the corner from the shop which is awesome and like I was saying it's been a really you were highly requested uh, idea to put a lot of the mowers inside of the enclosed trailer giving us a lot more room which is going to be very helpful so we could put a lot of our newer trucks inside so first we will actually kind of go trade in the uh, JCB skids here it's time for us to trade that in we really do not need that anymore and it looks like I already do have the uh, shop door open which is fine we'll kind of start the uh, Chevy Duramax up so we just went from the GMC to the Chevy which is fine we'll be hooking up to the uh, low trail trailer the 18 foot so we'll back up looks like that's pretty good we'll hop out we'll attach this and usually when you do attach trailers you put the safety chains everything like that onto it which is good but today we can't really uh, be putting them on so we'll kind of get the ramps going down and once we kind of move this JCB out which yeah we should just open up the door it will be a lot easier we will also be selling that bucket because the Bobcat comes with one so let's hop in this we'll start this up and it's been a great overall skits here but we're out with the old and in with the new if you would call because now we have the Bobcat so we'll load this up and if you guys do have any cool equipment ideas for me let me know down below in the comments I am working my best on trying to get us a few new uh, mowers and cool things like that but we'll hop back in the Bobcat I mean this is one overall great skids here we'll pull this all the way up right as close to the door actually we'll leave a little bit of room so we can walk in between and we'll just kind of close this up and close this door awesome so we got the shop closed up and just uh, to make it realistic we'll probably strap down the trailer even though these skids here won't strap down and I don't really want to put the mower on top of uh, this trailer just because it's not going to be realistic but we're actually driving this by the uh, tractor supply they are buying it from us so that they can use it to load up the gravel bark mulch and everything like that so we'll come to a stop here in the uh, tractor supply is just around the corner but usually in these upgrade and organizing videos we usually like I was saying earlier get a lot of new equipment but today we are only getting one new one and trading a lot of uh, equipment out and stuff like that which is good because it's always good to kind of remove any equipment that's not needed so that uh, we could sell it could generate an extra income and uh, we definitely do use all of them but sometimes we just need to sell them so we will be parking this right back in here awesome so we got this parked up and like I was saying they'll be using it which is good and uh, they will be doing a good job with that so we'll kind of uh, close that up but this is one awesome setup we actually have a lot of uh, single cab trucks for the lawn care shop which is good but we also have uh, one extended cab and then one crew cab which is very helpful to have a variety so we'll kind of get back onto this side of the road and let me know guys should I do a video of us actually like making the roads wider or should I do it off camera and uh, stuff like that it would actually make some of these yards even smaller and I do have to move like a few buildings a little bit closer uh, off the road if you would say so next up uh, I think we'll be taking the GMC truck since we will be needing to kind of move things around on the inside we'll use that truck also so we'll kind of back up here and park this trailer up and actually on the map that's getting released there's actually a section just like this one that we built I actually built it in Giants Editor which is good so uh, we'll hopefully try to fit at least two more trucks inside I think that'll be awesome to do so we'll kind of hop in the GMC here we'll be uh, selling the Amazon and the John Deere in the back and we'll be getting a uh, craftsman which will be pretty cool it is older but it's perfect for the jobs with it with very tall grass and everything like that so we'll be using this trailer it is heavy uh, but it should be uh, fine with this truck get that attached pull it out 
And I'm thinking for the vehicle for the mowers we'll be putting on the inside we'll probably put the skag in the john deere i think that's going to be a perfect fit so when we come back we'll put those in it before we uh completely park that trailer so we'll we, we'll kind of pull out here hopefully looks like we will clear that which is good awesome so we will load this up here and i mean this trailer is an awesome trailer it does the job and i think like i was saying we'll be working on some more mod releases and cool things for the channel so stay tuned for all of those and everything like that and now for this I'm actually thinking we'll move this yeah we'll move it right behind the Bobcat so let's kind of uh, uh we'll re put this in reverse and actually we'll probably be doing that all later yeah so let's go get these two mowers sold get the craftsman and when we come back we will like I was saying be moving that over putting a truck there and yeah we would actually be able to fit a lot of different vehicles if we did that which will be good We'll load this up and turn this off here and always it's always a good thing to kind of go through the equipment if you have uh, equipment that you do not use anymore or that you just want to change it up get something a little bit cheaper or something like that you can always kind of sell them and that is exactly what we are doing today but this GMC 3500 it has a Duramax and it has tow mirrors which are pretty cool especially for towing this trailer which I believe is like a 8 uh, feet wide trailer so it's a pretty wide one but look at that the craftsman mowers over there it's going to be good for mowing some of the uh, tall grass properties where we do not want to be taking the new uh, zero turns we'll just kind of reverse them put them right up against this wall here and we actually did mowing videos with both of these mowers if you guys would like to check it out those were great videos but like I was saying it's time to kind of change up the shop and uh, this is mainly for the public works now because I think that's going to be cool uh, having it for that kind of walk over here hop in this and it's kind of good uh, selling two mowers getting one it's really all we need is uh, this older one which will be perfect Alright, we got that inside. We'll kind of turn that off. I hopped out before I did, so I just hopped back in to do it. And uh, this truck looks awesome. I do like having the chrome on it, but sometimes I do just enjoy having the regular uh, kind of blacked out bumpers and cool things like that. Or even color matching bu bumpers. I actually am a fan of those a lot. So let me know, guys, should I kind of customize a few of these trucks? And we will actually be getting the Lawn Care logo on these very soon. And I think it might be uh, good to look into kind of adding a road right back there. It might be a little bit easier for us. But we'll kind of back in here and we will now kind of try to organize the shop exactly how we really need it. So we'll kind of back the craftsman off and then we'll load up what we need. Perfect. So we'll lower this. We'll keep the truck running just because we'll be uh, putting it right back once we load up those two mowers. And I do apologize for the lag. Looks like there's just a little. But this actually has a working steering wheel and a lot of cool features. We'll pretty much park this right here. We'll hop on this. Whoa. Looks like we are not getting in the correct one. We'll hop on the John Deere. And we'll bring this forward. And I mean, this and the Skag are the exact same, just with a different reskin. But overall, like I was saying, it's going to be good until we can find an actual really realistic Skag. So we got that one loaded up, and we'll load up the Skag. Wow, we are taking a lot, a lot of uh, vehicles out of here. That's going to be perfect for us. We're going to put this in. Perfect. So we got this loaded up. We aren't going to be putting anything else in here. I think that that's going to be good. So we will kind of just put this out of the way. And then we'll get started trying to reorganize those mowers into a good area. And I'm actually thinking that moving that John Deere actually would be helpful. We could put another truck right where that is. Wow, look at how close this is. Looks like it's just a little too close. And we are hitting that trailer. So we kind of uh, did this a little too sharp. But came out pretty well awesome so we'll back this in that's perfect how it is there and always you do want to 
lock up the uh, trailers and the tongues so that nobody can kind of uh, steal them. But we'll hop back in this tractor here. And we'll attach. Awesome. So we got this entire uh, setup attached. And this is right up against the wall. So it's going to be a little challenging for us right at first. But we'll kind of move it away from the wall. We'll probably just lower that down to the ground. That might, might make a little bit more sense. And we'll just be parking this right next to the skid steer. Probably just... Let's see. I'm thinking... I'm thinking actually since we do not really use this too much... We're just going to back it up here and move that because uh, it's fine to move a few things around every now and then, especially to get this out because I think we'll probably be using the skid steer more than uh, the John Deere. So we'll kind of pull out here and we're just going to leave that running because we will be reorganizing that. Alright, so this actually fits pretty well right like that, which is good. Next up, we'll hop in this mower and I'm thinking to also save room just gonna put them I would say right in front of each other that might be a little bit easier let's take a look so it looks like yeah we probably just have enough room we'll uh, turn the walker on and move this over and I think actually not blocking in any of these mowers will be a little bit easier so we got that one we will be doing this one and then the craftsman will fit right next to it, which is perfect so we actually saved a lot of room moving that entire mower over we will start this old one up and I mean this is old but it still does the job which is good just kind of pull this in awesome so we got these all kind of set up there and next up we'll kind of uh, readjust the skids here since we did hit it and uh, actually we could probably uh, have it right here that's actually we could probably still get that out, yeah, so we'll put that right there, and I believe that a truck will fit in here, and if it does, that's actually going to work out pretty awesome, so we'll put this new Dodge here, we'll back this in, we do have to watch out the mirrors, so we'll just kind of pull out and re-back it in, so take a look at that, guys, we actually fit a truck right in front of the skid steer, which is perfect, it looks like actually I did kind of spawn right inside of the wall oh wow that's going to fit re really well take a look at that whoa we uh, closed both at once and that's actually good that we did not have uh, this behind there but look at that we will probably fit all except for one but I think we'll be able to fit them all inside so we'll kind of back up here and try to fit this Awesome, so we kind of got this parked up, and some of the collisions on these trucks are not the best, but we'll kind of uh, start the GMC up, and it looks like we will be able to fit them all, which is really good. I always like to keep everything indoors, out of the weather, and uh, it looks like we will be able to accomplish that. In this last one, we'll just kind of rotate them out, and the one we'll be using that week will already be loaded up with the trailer attached, and right uh, like this so overall guys we were able to fit all of the trucks inside we did sell a lot of equipment and everything like that but I hope you guys enjoyed today's upgrade and organizing video of the lawn care shop thanks for watching and subscribe for more